So today we'll be doing a short leg bulky jump splint. This is going to be a way to do it, not the way. So just, this is just strictly educational. So we'll start off with the, um, the rules. Always use cold water because if you use anything warm with the splinting material, it'll heat up very hot and it could burn the patient. Uh, also, you want to also make sure that the, um, you have adequate padding on, along the edges of the splint to prevent skin breakdown. And then also when you wrap, you have to make sure that the, uh, the wrap is not too tight. Otherwise, you could cause compartment syndrome. So we'll start with the materials. You gather first. Always use cold water. Stockinette, your padding. And then also 5x30 splints. Uh, this will be 10 layers for the posterior and then 5 layers for the stirrup and then also your uh, bias, and then tape for the end. So we'll start with putting on the stockinette. This is totally optional and not necessary. When you have the stockinette, you always wanna make sure you have longer than you need. So, your partner that's holding for you is going to hold the foot in neutral at 90 degrees. So you want to also make sure that there's no wrinkles, everything's all smooth to prevent skin breakdown. So neutral, the only time it's going to be in plantar flex is if it's a torn Achilles. So we'll start with the bulky cotton. And we're gonna wrap distal to proximal. So starting from the tip of the toes. Then you're gonna use a six inch web roll to scrunch it down. Give it nice compression. As you're rolling, you want to keep the roll close to the extremity so that way you get the nice compression. You don't want to roll out like this and then wrap it. So I'm going to take some scissors. We're going to cut the anterior part of the, around the toes out. Then we're going to grab the five by 30 posterior splint, 10 layers. As you're dipping, you want to make sure you hold on the end so you don't lose the ends. So just squeeze out all the water and then just laminate together. So you're going to hand it down here and make sure that the splint doesn't go past the padding. About two inches from the popliteal space. And this will go to the tip of the toes. Then I'm gonna take a bulky, uh, a six inch web roll to secure the splint. And as I go up, I'm making sure it's smooth. And again, I'm checking to make sure the splint's not past the padding or too high up in the popliteal space. Next, I'll take the stirrup, five layers.
So if you were doing a reduction, this would be two stirrups, would be a J. So it would come like this, and the second one coming around like this. It would give it more stability. But standard bulky, it's just going to come up with a stirrup if you're just going to stabilize. So you want to make sure that it's not covering anterior and then it'll just be medial lateral. Then you'll take this stockinette to secure the stirrups. As you're wrapping this, you don't want to pull tension. You just want to just wrap it as it lays on there. So you go around the toes, and as you come around, you're going to go straight for the Achilles, and then it's going to naturally want to wrap around the, the heel. Again, no tension. Just lay it on as it rolls. Okay, now I'm going to have my holder hold it out here so it stays in 90. Use a tape to secure that. Then we'll have some tapes along the sides, on the medial and lateral side, uh, racing stripes. And basically that's to prevent the bias from rolling in like, like that. So once that's secure, then you'll take this from the holder and mold it as needed. And this completes a bulky joint splint.